a fall is here and I hate that for us. Okay, boom, boom, boom. We're gonna have to start over. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angela. Please like, subscribe, and share this video because I know you see me. And if you look at my channel, I give great content, so just do it. You might as well join the party. And for my returning subscribers, hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you are just so rude. Anyway, so today I'm doing a top perfume collection for the fall and winter time. Because it's getting cold and we can't really wear our summer fragrances in the winter. We gotta we gotta mix it up. We gotta mix it up. So I do have a couple of fragrances I wanted to shout out today. So first is the YSL So first is the YSL Lead fragrance. I just ordered it so I don't have the actual bottle with me, but I do have a picture here if you wanna see. Here she is. Yes. The YSL Lead Perfume has a floral fragrance with lavender, orange blossom, and musk. So I smelled this on my friend. She actually had the oil, and some of my aunts have the actual bottle, and I smelled it, and it's just, it's fantastic, honestly, for lack of a better word. Um, when I first smelled it uh, at Ulta, when I was trying it out, I wasn't really a fan, but once you like live with it, you're like, okay. I see why YSL is charging $135 per bottle. Because it smells good. It does. It's not loud. Like, you know, summer fragrances tend to be. But it's it's muted. But you know it's there. Like, as soon as somebody walks by, they're going to be like, Ooh, girl, what is that? You smell good. That's YSL, right? That's that leave, right? Yeah, I know. So, yeah, I would highly recommend that bottle. I'm so excited. I can't wait till I get it. And it comes. Okay, so the second uh, perfume that I wanted to mention is the Poison Girl Eau de Toilette by Dior, by Miss Dior. So this is for my girls that's trying to have a freaking dress night. Um, this reminds me of like a spicy vanilla scent. So it's not overly sweet. Like, um, what's that perfume, girl? You know that perfume that everyone thinks that Rihanna wears? It's like mad sweet, sweet, sweet. It's not like that. So I'll, if I remember it, I'll write it down. But this is more like a spicy scent. Um, it has hints of bitter orange, grass rose, and Venezuelan tonka, Venezuelan tonka bean. So... All I got from that is like cinnamon and vanilla. That's basically what the smells like and it's fantastic. So this next fragrance I wanted to shout out is not necessarily one I like on me, but I would like this scent on a guy actually. And this is the Tom Ford Lost Cherry Perfume. I got this in the travel size because I'm you know, whenever I buy perfume, I get it on the travel size first, just in case I don't like it. I'm glad I didn't get the full bottle, because I would have been upset. But this is, um, exactly what it smells like. It's like a cherry scent, but it's like really, 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 really masculine. And for me, on me, I wouldn't wear something like that, but I would, on a guy... I think they would be able to pull this off better. So I wanted to mention a perfume for my guy. Perfume. So this is a warm and spicy scent. It has notes of black cherry, tonka bean, and almond. And it's a gourmand type of perfume, uh, fragrance, excuse me. So like I said, this is something I would like to see on a guy, just not on me personally. So this is one I highly recommend for my fellas out there. I don't know, maybe you want to have a freaking dress night too, you know. The next one I wanted to shout out is the, another YSL fragrance, but this is a classic, the YSL Black Opium fragrance. And my god, this, this is a classic for a reason. I feel like every girl needs this in their collection. I've obviously been running out and I just got this. 
This is my second bottle and I got this last year, so that's how good it is, see? Basically empty, but this set, oh my God. For the record, this is probably like one of the cheapest perfumes I have in my collection here. This is like $78 for this bottle, but it's so good. Like the notes, the key notes I have here on the website are black coffee, white flowers, and vanilla. So this would be also a nice, sexy night scent for my ladies out there that's trying to, you know, go out and party, go to a bar, hit up some guys, and it's just really good. Like y'all can listen to me. Take my advice, get this. Get it now. And last, but certainly not least, I want you guys to give a round of applause to my new baby in my collection, the Joe Malone Myrrh and Tonka. Oh my God, this was worth the $300 that I paid for this. When I tell y'all, this is my top fragrance for the winter and fall, it's it's just so good okay i lied i didn't pay 200 dollars for it but it smells like it it's just so good on the website it says that the base notes are tonka bean lavender heart excuse me myrrh i can't say that word and you could smell all three scents and my god this is this scent is for girl for girls and guys honestly a girl if you like if you know you're a bad bitch you can honestly wear this and people will smell you like damn that smell good and for my fellas you could wear this with a nice expensive you know nicely cut tuxedo or maybe just a black blouse and uh, trousers or whatever you guys wear and you wear this it just catches people's attention so quick and this is my baby, and I'm so happy I have him. I just love it. This is like my favorite perfume ever. This one and my gentle fluidity. They're they're fighting for the top spot, but I just love the scent so much. And yeah, get it. If you can't afford it. Hit up Klarna or Afterpay, girl, you gonna have to do something. You have to get this. This is it. This is it. This is it. All right, guys, so that marks the end of my video today. If you like what you see, be sure to subscribe, like, and share this video. I will see y'all next week. Bye.